Why didn't it work? Explain. I thought Prime was supposed to be pissed off. It was, at first. Was there a malfunction or something? No, but we haven't tested it before. Besides, the objective is to use the creation after Autobots to beat the fossilizers. How do you know they will? Based on recent calculations. The Autobots are like cockroaches. You think you've killed them, but somehow they're still alive. So what do we do now? Just wait around? No. We will go to the fossilizer ship. We have much to discuss. Such as... Nothing that concerns you. All you need to do is wait until you are ordered to do something. My calculations suggest the Autobots will be making another move soon. We must be prepared. I hate this planet. Why can't we just go and kill some humans? If you were smarter than you appear, you would know that I had to make a truce with the Autobots. You did what? Oh, if Megatron comes back, he will certainly kill you. Oh, calm down, you brute. It's only temporary. I am intending to break it anyway. But if you go kill the inhabitants on this planet, the Autobots will know we broke the truce. It will be too early then. So, that's your big plan, hmm? Oh, how did you get here? Eh, same as everyone else. A simple escape pod. I told you to stay on Cybertron until I told you you could join us. Yeah, I'm starting to think you just wanted me far away. Besides, I heard Megatron was alive, but then the Autobots defeated him. And the rest of the Decepticons. I would love to see the two of you argue, but I think we got more pressing matters. Such as... Soundwave can fill you in. Now, let's continue where we left off. How many times must I tell Sideswipe to put his weapons away? Wait, what's RC doing? Oh, um, hi Jazz. Are you okay? I saw you standing over here. I thought I'd see what was up. I'm fine. I doubt that. Every time someone says that, it's not true. I'm just... worried. Don't be. If we put Megatron on the ground, then the fossilizers stand no chance. I'm not worried about the fossilizers. I'm sure we'll handle that. Then, what are you worried about? Uh... Bumblebee. Don't worry about him, Marcy. We'll get him back. What if we don't? What if he's just another victim to this endless war? Like, scattershot. I promise you this. No matter what, we will get Bumblebee back and find some way to beat the fossilizers at any cost. You don't think all of us are going to make it, do you? I agree with Jazz. Sometimes we have to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. Exactly. And whatever happens, I'm glad to call you all family. You, you too. too. This is messed up. What? The fact that Ratchet is dead? Or the fact that we could do nothing to stop it from happening? Oh, it feels so useless. I feel like a failure. 
<sighs> Don't beat yourself up, smoke screen. Sometimes we just have to accept the things that happen. Hound's right. We'll all get through this together. Yeah. I can't imagine how Prime feels. Ratchet was his closest friend. Ratchet was a great boy. I remember when I first came to this planet. Ratchet was the first one to greet me. <laughs> he said he was looking for Energon. All that felt like yesterday. I remember that day. You had your other form, too. Sure did. It's fine to walk down memory lane. Hey, uh, Hound? Yeah? Can I talk to you in private? Oh, uh, sure. Go, move him. Go get him, tiger. Uh, what was that sound? What? What are you talking about? That sound you just made. Why did you do that? Then just cheering on the hound. For what? Him and Kermia. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask. What's going on between them? I've noticed... Something. Ah, Jazz, my friend. How can you guys not see what's happening? Can you share with the class? In very simple terms, how likes Chromia? You mean that weird human emotion? <laughs> it's not just a human emotion. It's something all beings have. Exactly. Name one thing that actually doesn't have that feeling. Unicron. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two. Vertebrae needs you. Uh, for what? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who needs you. You wanted to see us, my lord. Ah, Ricochet! Cyberfire! Come! Ah. Ah. And that is why I called you. That was a memory, wasn't it? Yes, my lord. You had a memory as Bumblebee, correct? Yes. I must warn you that Bumblebee will always try to fight you in order to take control. You are here right now, so I know you won't surrender control. And that you have complete loyalty to me only. Do not worry, my lord. By killing the Autobots, we will snuff out any good that's left in us. Good. Now go prepare. We are going to have guests. My friend, I will get justice for you. My student. Alpha Trilon. I sense dangerous emotions in you. Why? My Autobots are facing a new threat. And we are left with very few options. The threat has proven to be extremely powerful. And just yesterday, we lost one of our own. I lost a great friend. I am aware of your pain. But I must warn you, an even greater threat is emerging. It is spoken in the prophecy. What is? The Black Cavalry. Who could turn into such a being? Why would 
Would you believe that? Your destiny is already foretold in the prophecy. It cannot change. Everything has already been set in motion. It's said that you continue to dwell on your current emotions, which drive you to pain, anger, deceit, weak, vengeance, and everyone around you. It is your fate to be gone. Nemesis Prime. Yes. I was spoken. I cannot say anything more about what the future holds. I wish you luck. I heard what Smokescreen said after he had that concussion. You did? Yes, and I've been doing a lot of thinking ever since then. I know how you feel about me, and I just wanted to tell you how I felt. I've always wanted to be a part of the military on Cybertron. I thought it was awesome, but although I never got the chance, I at least was gifted the chance to be real good friends with someone who was. Hound, you're very smart, and you can be a little hot-headed sometimes, but that's one of the reasons why I like you. So, you're saying? Yes, and I do, but I suggest it's best to not be distracted while we're finding a way to stop the new threat we're facing. So, after we stop them, or if we stop them, then I'll be ready for that... You're absolutely right. And I agree. We should focus on saving the planet, and then we can shift our attention back to this. Agreed. But I also wanted to tell you, this is the first time I've ever felt like this about someone, or vice versa, so it's new to me. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. So, um, what happened? Alpha Trion has told me what will happen in the near future, after the fossilizers. So, uh, did he just confirm that we'll defeat him? I am not sure, but you could be correct. So, what did he tell you about the future? That if we survive these events, an even greater threat will emerge. And it is already revealing itself. What's the threat? The Black Convoy. Oh, Primus. I, I researched that name many, many times. So you know who it is? Yeah. And I think that very being is in this very room as we speak. Wait, Prime? Precisely. It is told that I am to become Nemesis Prime. Optimus, you can never... We do not have time to dwell on this. Will Jack, have you found anything that will help us in the current battle against the fossilizers? As a matter of fact, I did. Just a few days ago. A large energy pulse had appeared on the radar. Only one thing can make an energy pulse like that. What is it? Well, uh, me and Ratchet can... Oh, right. Sorry, I... Continue. Well, we were able to narrow it down to a polyatomic laser bomb. Looks like old Screamer was telling us the truth. That sounds dangerous. That's because it is. A polyatomic laser bomb is one of the most devastating explosives known to... Well, everything. How do we stop global destruction from happening? Well, if we can contain the explosion radius, we could easily blow up the whole ship. But the real problem is how are we going to make sure that they all stay on board? Those fossilizers are slippy. That's it? Well, without using a handful of big words that you can't understand, then yes. We need to take immediate action. Let us go inform the others.
So, what happened? She said she feels the same! Yeah! Ha ha! Yeah, I told you! I told you! But, but we're gonna wait till after we stop the fossilizers. Eh, sounds reasonable. Autobots, we have a plan. Sweet, let's hear it. It's simple, really. We just found out there's a bomb on the ship, and then we just gotta make sure that the fossilizers stay on the ship when the whole ship goes pew, you know? And obviously, we can't be on the ship when it does go off. Right now, let's go break some bones. Autobots, this time, I will allow my full suit. We must do whatever it takes to save the humans. Autobots, roll out!